In this video, I want to show you how to use the showcase mockups in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got one of the mockups open here. And the first thing you'll want to do is open up your layers panel, window layers, and then drop down this little arrow so you can see the contents of the mockup. So there's some fabric shading levels, there's background color, there's a magic fabric texture layer, there's a neck label layer, a graphic layer, heather, and fabric colors. So these will allow you to control how your mock-up looks. So the first thing you may want to do is add in some art. So let's go to the camp out collection here. Let me select one of these graphics. I'll just copy it. Let's go into the showcase mock-up. And what we want to do here is navigate down to the example graphic layer, highlight it, and then just paste in our art. And then we'll scale it up and rotate it and position it similar to how the graphic in the template currently looks. Let's also drag it down just above the example graphic and we'll turn off the visibility of the example graphic. So I think that's looking really good. Now, what you may want to do is change your fabric color. So let's go down here to our fabric color and instead of clicking on the fabric color, what we want to do is use these little buttons on the right in our layers panel to select the objects in this layer. That way, nothing in these layers interferes with your selection. So let's say we want to change this fabric color to a black. You don't want to go all the way to black because your fabric shading will disappear. Um, the other thing just for just to show you here, let me turn off the magic fabric texture layer for a second. So let's go back to this fabric color layer. What I really wanna do for a black fabric is go to say like an 80, 75% gray. And then what we wanna do here is turn on the visibility of dark fabric shading and turn off the visibility of the light fabric shading. So that's how you'd mock up a black shirt. You can also do combinations of, like you could do the light and the dark, you could do the light and the, the medium, and just see what looks the best with your graphic and your, your mock-up. So the problem here is our text is dark on a dark background. So actually let's go and change this to say like a medium blue. Kind of just play around with it till you see something you like. And I think that dark fabric shading is a little bit too much. Maybe let's try the medium. I think that looks really good. Now, the other thing we need to do is match our magic fabric texture layer to the fabric color. So the way we do this is go back to this little button here to highlight your fabric color. You'll see it showing up in your foreground color here and take our eyedropper and we just eye drop and that's gonna put that color in our magic fabric texture layer. Um, the other thing we may wanna do is you'll notice how the background matches the t-shirt. Let's change our background color. And again, we select it by using this button right here. Let's maybe just change that to say like a white or you could change it to maybe like a red to match the red in the graphic. So I think that's looking pretty good. The other thing we may want to do is change out our neck label. So I'll go to one of the neck labels in label kit here and just copy that. And let's go to our neck label and highlight our example graphic and paste it in. And let's rotate and scale that neck label till it looks good. And to clip it out, we're going to need to drag it just above the example graphic. And that puts it in that clipping mask. And I'm going to turn off the visibility of the existing neck label. And I think that is looking really good. Now, the thing with the Illustrator templates is there's no displacement map feature that I know of. So the best way to distort your graphic, if you kind of want to ripple it to match the ripples in the t-shirt fabric, is you can apply a envelope distort. So what we'll do is we'll select our graphic here 
and go object envelope distort make with mesh and usually four or five a grid of four four by five is pretty good and then you can go in there and with your white arrow tool highlight individual points in that mesh oh the other thing we're going to need to do is let's lock that magic fabric texture layer so it doesn't inter interfere and we can just move these points around manually and that'll kind of ripple the graphic and give it even more of a realistic printed effect and i think that's looking pretty good so what we can do here is just export this as a jpeg or png jpeg's probably going to look a lot better just because you're going to get more gradient and then you could save that for web and it's going to look really good in your catalog website or social media thanks for watching